Hey everybody, Mark and Bird Lewis here from CinemaSound.com. Many of the members of CinemaSound and you here on YouTube have asked, how do I get that voiceover trailer kind of super sound? And we're going to show you how to do that here in Adobe Audition right now. So we're here in Adobe Audition. And if you've never used Adobe Audition and would like to know more, please come to CinemaSound.com and stream our product, Adobe Audition 1. Two, three, which takes you from, I've never booted it, I don't know how to use it, all the way to delivering in uh, 5.1 and having a uh, real facility at using the program for podcasting, multi-track editing, and everything else. So we're here. Here's a dialogue uh, voiceover that we have from a uh, venerable actor from Star Trek, J.G. Hertzler. Let's take a look, listen to it raw. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. It galvanized the diverse races of the United Federation of Planets. And here's what it sounds like after treatment. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. It galvanized the diverse races of the United Federation of Planets. And if you've got subs on, you know you're probably wearing a speaker cone right now. If you're listening to it on computer speakers or terrible headphones, you're not hearing the massive amount of bass that's going on in there. How did we do this? Well, you can see here... Uh, the top left, uh, some of the uh, plugins that we use to make this happen. But let me just start from scratch so we're not cheating. So here it is again. The Raw. Four Years' War changed everything. So the first thing we need to do is add equalization. And we can do this from within Adobe Audition really easily. And we want We already know we want to add some high frequencies. Uh, we probably want to add some lows, remembering that the human voice really doesn't go much below 100 hertz. And uh, let's see. We'll add this in there. We probably want to also get rid of some of those upper, mid, lows kind of thing here. So let's just try it, dial in what's probably... Races of the United Federation of Planets stuff. like nothing had before. Seen. Probably I want, want to get rid of this I watch too many stuff friends here. Actually, or... actually, this stuff sounds actually pretty good. Let's make it a little bit wider just to give it some loudness. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. If we take it out, if we take it out, it actually kind of starts sounding weak. So let's leave that in there. Now there's some honkiness in here. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. It galvanized the diverse races of the yeah. United Federation of Planets like nothing had before. So that's a pretty draconian curve. The Four Years' War changed everything. But without? The Four Years' War changed everything it's kind of weak so we definitely definitely like this then the next thing we're going to do is go to a multi-band compressor so that we can take some of these frequencies and keep them under control and we want to dial in these four bands so that we get maximum effectiveness you know in a music setting we would dial this low band much lower but because there's no frequency down there his voice isn't going down there that far we can push, push up a little higher so we have basically sibilance up here the Four Years' War. Kind of that high mid-range here. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quad. That flubbiness there. Galvanized. And the big lows there. What we're going to do is link bands. We're going to make the attack about, I don't know, 35 milliseconds. So we get a little punch, make the release short, make the, re the ratio about two and a half, and bring down the threshold. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. It galvanized the diverse races of the United Federation of Planets like... <laughs> Nothing had before, but we were losing all the same. And now it's a lot punchier because we've got that slow attack and a slow and a quick release, but we don't want to be taking out the low low. So we're going to turn off link band and bring this threshold up so that those low frequencies can ring through. And again, if you're not on good headphones or good speakers, you might not hear this. The four years war changed everything in the quadrant. It galvanized the diverse races of the United Federation of Planets. Now we can also turn up the high frequencies a little bit more because we have this high band, multi-band compressor doing a good job of what is in essence de-essing for us. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. Beautiful. Now the next thing we do, if we want, is add a pitch shifter. Now you don't have to do this. I just like it because it kind of adds a little depth and a little Zulu coolness to the voice. Um, this is the one from Audition, and uh, here, we want to have it on high precision, and let's drop this down. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. It galvanized the diverse races of the United... Even just one semitone makes a pretty big difference. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. Off. It galvanized the diverse races of the United Federation of Planets on. like... Nothing had before. Just gives it some a little more body to it. Changes the character of his voice a little, but it's okay. And everybody still knows it's JG. 
And then this is a little bit of a cheat because Audition doesn't have one of these, but Waves does. It's called Low Air, and it's sort of a magic, uh, magic, amazing thing uh, for, and we're going to put this in stereo, even though it's on a mono track. It takes low frequencies and just blows them up. The Four Years' War changed everything in a quadrant. Turn off direct. Now, if you don't have good headphones, you're, you're just like, I don't hear anything except you. True enough. So we want to make the, because this is way down there, we want to make the range that this is affecting and adding low frequency to about 75 hertz and turn this up. So it's basically an octave below his voice. And you can see the meters are going, and again, it's low, low frequency. Turn the direct I back up. fighting. Winning? <laughs> well... In the middle of a war with the Klingons, it was nearly a pipe dream. So now it's beefy for certain. Now we now have, uh, I think, yeah, we're actually still on a mono track. So normally what I would do is add a chorus unit to kind of give it some oscillation or a stereo spread. Let's see what happens if we just add the chorus on and see if we get any stereo effect while on a mono channel. The Four Years' War... None at all. So we need to move this to whole thing to a stereo channel. Even though this is mono, we want to actually spread it to give it that really cool sound uh, and wide. And if we were doing this in a theater, we would put this on a 5-1 channel. So let's check it out. All right, now we have it on a stereo channel. You can see that it has two channels here. And we're going to instantiate modulation chorus and set up some cool settings here. Now check this out just from the default. The Four Years' War... Changed everything in the quadrant. Pretty big deal. We want to add binaural cues. We want to make this a little bit shorter. The delay time we want to bring down. Oh, and maximum voices. Bring this way down here. Check it out now. The Four Years' War changed everything in the quadrant. And we want, in a chorus unit, we want dry and wet to be 50-50-ish. That's how a chorus unit works. Uh, you know, some people get this wrong. You want the dry and the wet to be around 50%. The Four Years' War... Change everything in the quadrant. It galvanized the diverse races of the United Federation of Planets like nothing had before. But we were losing, all the same. I watched too many friends and crew members get blasted out into space or die from Klingon disruptors. Without? The Four Years' War changed everything. It's still pretty good, but when we add this big Zulu chorus unit from Audition... The Four Years' War changed everything in a quadrant it galvanized the diverse races of the united federation of planets now what you can do with this because this is only stereo is you can then take this bust this to a 5-1 output and pan have like one version of the chorus unit in the front and another version in the back and then of course route the low frequencies to the lfe uh, or dead in the center, whatever you want to do. At this point, you could do all kinds of fun things. So hopefully this has been useful to you to how to create that massive voiceover trailer sound in Adobe Audition. And if so, please subscribe to us here on the channel and uh, definitely visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds and thousands of videos and articles to show you how to get that unfair competitive advantage in the multimedia marketplace. Hope to see you there. Until then, we'll see you in the theater. Even if you're